saying that I finished watching Twilight, let's get on with the video. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia, and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Say pretty much, it is every day now because I pre recorded videos. Whoa! So today I'm going to be covering some of the biggest misconceptions about the use of benzodiazepines. So to anyone who doesn't know, I take benzodiazepines and if you don't know what they are, they're a group of medications that come with a lot of stigma. So I do understand that benzodiazepines are drugs that people choose to abuse and that's for another video. So what are some of the biggest misconceptions about benzodiazepine use. Number one, they can only be given for a short period of time. And while, yes, GPs and some professionals only prescribe them for, say, four weeks or one box worth or a week's worth, they can be used as a long-term medication if they are seen to be helpful working alongside with other medications. So many people take benzos for long-term use. They have a group of people talking about how they can't be used as a... It wasn't my door, was it? People don't like the fact that some people get prescribed in long term and they don't. Some people don't agree with these benzodiazepines. If a medication has the capability of helping you when you have tried everything else that you can try at that current moment in time, I'd take the damn pill. Number two, you can only be prescribed one at a time. That is completely incorrect. I know someone who takes three. All of the benzodiazepines work similarly, but they have different effects. Clonazepam has a longer lasting effect than lorazepam does, which is the other benzodiazepine I take. Lorazepam is very very fast acting, whereas clonazepam lasts over a longer period of time. So yes, it is possible to be prescribed more than one at any given time. I used to be take, I used to take diazepam and lorazepam, and I take lorazepam and clonazepam. Third misconception, it's illegal to take them! No, it's not. Yes, different countries have different regulations on what they can prescribe. For instance, in the USA you can be prescribed Xanax. In the UK, that's illegal. The fourth misconception that I thought of, if you're on them, you're going to become addicted. And that is so untrue. I think it's ridiculous that people even think that and believe that just because people take benzodiazepines long term. People have different things. People react differently to medications. Some people enjoy the feeling of being slowed down which then leads to the drug abuse of that medication. Some people don't have that. If you're like me, I used to do cocaine when I was younger. I guess I'm old saying that. It was it was like two years ago now though. I've grown up a lot. I like being speeded up. I like thinking a million miles an hour. Hence why I'm on so many medications to slow me down. Because when I'm thinking when I'm thinking this, that and everything, I'm going to miss really important details and I'm going to end up getting hurt. That's why I take my medication. I feel like that was an important one to throw in here too. And the final misconception that I have for this video, they don't really work after you've taken them for a long time. Incorrect. Like I said, medications work differently for different people. Some people have to incre keep increasing their dose and change your medications. Personally, I've been taking the same sleeping tablet, the same benzodiazepines now since... Well, sleeping tablet I've been on for two years. Lorazepam I've taken for just over a year. So now's the time I've been on since February. And it has the same effect on me now as it did back then. Yes, I've increased the dose, but that's as other medications have been added, such as bisoprolol, which is a, a beat blocker, which I react horribly to. It sends my paranoia through the roof, but I'm ha I have to take that at the moment because of my heart. So there are different reasons why people need different medications. The stigma surrounding benzodiazepines just needs to die out. It needs to leave. It, like, no one wants to hear. We didn't ask for you. And I think if before you go calling someone a benzodiazepine, Addict or a drug addict, you have to understand the reasons why they're taking them. People with anxiety and people with mental illness don't want to take medication. If I could get through a day and not have to take a tablet, I'd be so fucking happy. But I can't because if I don't have my medication, it sends me paranoid, it sends me hallucinating, it sends me down a massive spiral of depression. It just knocks me about so much. And if one tablet, even if it's an addictive one, even if it's a benzodiazepine, even though it's got stigma attached, if I can take one pill and my anxiety be okay, I will take it. Like, look how organised that is. That is all I have for this video. If you are new here or have any requests, let me know in the comments and make sure you hit the subscribe button way down there and also tickle the little like button. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon with a new video.